Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Agon Fires. This is Song of Horror, and this could very well be the end of all things. Let's find out together. What saved Ariadne would not save me. She had grown up with that melody and had developed a mind so distorted that it could withstand the horrors it saw each day. But there was another way out to break the connection between our reality and that terrible place, to take the song and its nightmares to their place of origin. I was the only person who could do it, the only one who had heard the melody and, so far, lived to tell the story. Time was running out. The mansion was still far away, and my damned car chose that precise moment to go belly up. Everything seemed to conspire against me, but I wasn't about to give up. There wasn't much time left, but I knew I still had a chance. That reminds me that uh, Daniel really is the uh, the last character left. <laughs> got rough. It definitely got rough. Oh wait, no, Grace. Grace is the only other person other than Daniel who has survived. And technically in this iteration, Alexander Laskin. So there are a few survivors, but, uh, you know, not, <laughs> not recently. <laughs> Finale. We're going there. Clear. Just find the box and take it to that place. <sighs> Guys, I want to thank you for coming with me on this journey. It's been absolutely incredible. This, of course, is the first game on my channel, and there are now 25 subscribers. We're taking over YouTube, guys. <laughs> on, you got this. It's all of us together. Thank you. Thank you each and every one of you. I can't see Ariadne from here, and I haven't noticed any activity inside the house. Place is pretty messed up. Well, we're here now. We're going in. He can knock silently. There it is. She doesn't answer. I should go inside. I mean, we invaded Husher's mansion, mansion so why shouldn't we uh, just walk into this one? This has fallen somewhat into disrepair. All right, now. Let's begin. <clears throat> Before I start searching the house, I should find Ariadne and ask her about the music box. All right. Nothing like pure darkness in there. The lamp fell from the ceiling and crushed everything below. Nobody seemed to care enough to clean the mess. She's also living with the Phantom of the Opera. Hmm. A piano, most likely from the 19th century. That's what uh, what he's keying in on right now. The exit! You know, we... Oh. Sophie painted this. Interesting. We saw this in... Um, in Isaac's flat. The uh, the door became this uh, this fake exit. That's really interesting. Yes, yeah, Sophie has been taken as well. No way. Small metal boxes and ornaments, tarnished and unkempt. I never really hear that word anymore, unkempt. All right, well, this is horrible. Argus the Grant, with his eldest daughter, Elaine. They're gonna come back and, like, their faces are gonna be melting or something horrible like that. What is this painting about, exactly? I, uh, I can't see it, Daniel. I don't... I don't know. A 
Okay, so, I don't know why we did that, but we did. Let's go back to check that painting. Alright. Okay, so it's not haunted, it's just, uh, you know, creepy looking. Okay. That only leaves this door. Ari! Ari, why do you have this here? There's a sheet standing up in the middle of your living room. Ari! You... You meant to put a code on this, not scare the hell out of your visitors. If there were any birds in here, that time is long gone. This is almost like a combination of every level up until now. We have the bird cage, and we have the uh, horrific sheet thing, and there's an owl, you know. Whoa. But I heard something. A broken mirror. Probably Argus Legrant did that. I don't think Ariadne has ever been prompted to break them, like all the other victims of the song. <clears throat> And we just kind of kept it like that. An old radio and two stone busts. They're probably family ancestors. Book. We have one lamp on in the entire house. All right. A history book that talks about both the Grant family and the House of Amsburg. It's a lot older than the one we found in the university. Really? Well, that was like volume 15 or something. Mrs. Legrand. Oh. Pardon me for hey. barging in like this, but... Harry! I need that box. Ariadne? Mrs. Legrand Damsburg? Anyone? Oh, no. The box. The music box I gave you. I need it. Please, tell me where it is. Its box... is upstairs. Thank you. I promise I'll free both of us from that cursed thing. Maybe she likes it here. Upstairs, Mr. Neuer. In my room. There. Alright. Um, wonderful chat. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, it's as if time had stopped she in this house. Oh. I don't need help, but she does. It has to be Berenice. Okay, Elaine the Grand Dansberg, music box in hand, completely oblivious of what the future has Elaine, in store for her. My sister, always young, always dark. Elaine, Ariadne's older sister. What a senseless tragedy. They You're getting creepy on me. From the closet. Getting really creepy on me. A pile of old books. Most of them are over 100 years old. Alright, we scratched out this painting for some reason. Father. Hanging from the ceiling. Alright, well, I would understand why she would scratch that one out. Uh-uh. This is a very nice couch. But we don't have time to enjoy idle conversation. We have much to do. Mm -mm. Checking every door. Because, you know, there's a thing we have to do. Luckily, this is still here. Now we're going upstairs. All right. Been everywhere else. Let's see. How does Ariadne feed herself? Like, she doesn't really seem to have, like, a running refrigerator. Oh. Stop moving! 
<laughs> oh, it's <laughs> just a vine. The box is somewhere on this floor. This is great. In this house, even the coziest nooks and crannies have a sinister air to them. Hey, look at this. <clears throat> Not that one. Uh -uh. Not that one. There was that evil looking horse over here. Right there. <laughs> we'll come back to that side. I can see the courtyard that opens to the main entrance from here. We have not been swallowed by the void yet that we can that we can see anyway. I'm gonna I'm going to imagine these double doors are important. Boarded up door. Okay, what about these? Alright, he liked that. Ariadne and Elaine's mother, Natalie of House Amsburg. I think I remember. Alright. The painting did not transform. So far, that's a good sign. Alright, I can't open it. Something is blocking it from the other side. This opens. Of course it did. A little girl's personal notes. The name Elaine appears several times. Is not horrific or anything. Uh, there's so much dust on the sheets you can barely see their original color. They've probably been there decades. Where does Ariadne sleep? In that chair, I suppose. Oh. Hello. Are you just you just stay there, all right? Elaine the Grand Amsburg with Ariadne in her arms. She used to be a nice family. Oh! I see it next to the mirror. This is the room that uh, Berenice kept getting transported to. Oh, cool. That would explain the bassinet. Oh, my goodness. Uh, there's a thick layer of dust on the mattress. It still looks slightly deformed, as if someone had slept on it a long time ago. Maybe even Berenice Prestigard herself. This is the boarded-up door. Unsurprisingly, I can't open it. All right. Now, we're going to grab this music box. I want to do a bit more exploring first, and then we'll, uh... <laughs> we'll take it there. <laughs> The effects of Argus Legrand's madness are still present in the entirety of the house. And how about these double doors? <laughs> no, okay, so. There's only one place left to go. Right. Oof. Let's do it, guys! We'll do the light trick. Here we go, Daniel. Huh? Wow. Where am I? There's no going back. Dear God. Whoa! What is this hideous place? I no longer have a flashlight. Wow! We have lost souls up there. I'm just looking around for a minute. Baroness Prestigard. Should I knock? Yeah. Doctor Prestigard. <gasps> hey. 
Hey! Baroness Prestacard's nightmare! Maybe we can free her! Oh, maybe we can get her out of here! Oh, that would be so cool! We could, like, build an army to take on the Grand High Squishy! Right? That mirror is freaking out. All kinds of horrible stuff being reflected in there. Come on, Berenice! Oh. There are still two patients who haven't heard the song, but I don't remember who they are. Look at this. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can get some information. Have you recently dreamed about an eclipsed sun? All right. And, um, do you know who's your favorite batch Backstreet Boy? Like, <laughs> we'll do our best with these questions. Hello? Hmm. This machine will play the melody in the cell that I pick. I need to choose carefully. Okay, so we need to expose them to the melody. Seems a little bit horrific. A solar eclipse oh, hi. towering over a great expanse. Have you seen anything like that in your dreams? No. All right. Okay. Look. <laughs> you painted the dark presence on your wall, allegedly in your own blood. Okay. Come on. We we know. <laughs> There's something going on here. Have you recently dreamed about an eclipsed sun? Not sure I buy that either. Ariadne. Hey! Are you there? He always lies. The man next door. He always lies about his dreams. Part of her is always captured in this nightmare. Oh, that's interesting. Part of her mind, soul, whatever it is, is always here. Wow. Okay, we had number one, and there was no answer, I believe, right? The patient is not responding. I don't know if that's, you know, good news <laughs> or bad news. A solar oh. eclipse towering over a great expanse. Have you seen anything like that in your dreams? Okay, everything flashed green for a second, like that. But this guy didn't have uh, paintings of the uh, the dark figure all over his rooms. So that might be something to uh, consider. Have you recently dreamed mm. about an eclipsed sun? No. All right. So the best evidence evidence we have so far is one and two. Let's try it, and. Uh, <laughs> I'll sacrifice some humans to the nightmare. Okay. Look at this. Patients, they must not escape. Therapist, Dr. Berenice Prestigard. It's as if um, her nightmare is that she has captured them. Like everything she was working towards, her obsession uh, transformed this environment into uh, into her experience of the madness into her um, darkest feeling about what she is responsible for. Six subjects will be made to listen to Ariadne's music box. The procedure has already begun, exposing four of these subjects to the music with surprising effects. Ariadne, the control uh, patient, did not present any changes after listening to the music in her own cell, in her cell. And yet two of the other subjects, enclosed in opposite cells, have begun to refer to a dream in which they see a dark place with an eclipsed sun. Only one of the two has heard the melody. It is deemed possible that the other is a case of sheer suggestion, having heard their fellow patient's description. On another note, several subjects taking part in the experiment have placed candles in their cell, although not all of them have listened to the melody. We assume it is possible that they are simply imitating what they see other patients do 
in opposite cells. Uh, for some reason, the valves in the sound system explode when we play the song in a cell and there are only three left. We must proceed with the last two subjects as soon as possible. They must not escape. Okay. <laughs> Things explode. All right. So, let's take another quick look, shall we? I'm gonna go with two and three. See how well this works. Oh, I can't do two and three. All right, well, two first. <laughs> Where am I? Up. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna say it wasn't him. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try three. I'm very sorry. Okay. Exploded, but uh, was she taken? Oh! She's here! Okay, great! So she was one of the ones who did not listen to the melody. I'm not sure <laughs> what other information we have. She doesn't have candles, but of course she does have a picture of the dark squishy. Alright, we only have one more chance. Hey, pal. Ari, can you help me out? So I'm thinking it's either one or six. Let's find out. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Oh! Alright, so that wasn't great. So, this door. I have to, or I'll be stuck here forever. So does that mean that Berenice is is trapped now? That she's stuck in this nightmare forever? Uh Argus Legrant! Should I knock? Absolutely! Alright, we have a hammer. I can't seem to do anything with the hammer, but uh, we know why he has it. And we're all starting out in the same room. Okay. What's your nightmare, Argus? Yeah. <laughs> Ariadne? There was no way it wasn't this. Oh, 
I'm coming. Here we go. Ariadne. Oh. Where are you? She's getting pulled farther away. Ariadne, hold on. Dad is going to save you. Please. Ariadne, stop. He's going to hear us. I'm coming, guys! Ariadne! They're just monsters. Oh, no. No! 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 Whoa! Oh. So am I intentionally leading them into their deepest nightmare? Is that what the plan is here? That sounds pretty horrific. I think I need the lamp posts to turn off to open the gate and get there. So yeah, so we're going to drive these people directly insane and uh, into the absolute worst moments of their lives. And I was uh, <laughs> unknowingly quite literal when I said that these represent lost souls. All right, I guess Berenice is still gone, right? I lost my chance. Knocking again would be pointless. I'm sorry, Berenice. All right, what poor soul is behind this door? Isaac Farber. Mr. Farber? <gasps> all right, Isaac. We know it doesn't really end all that well for you either. Whoa. All right, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't see this coming. Well, this is horrific. I am stuck. Okay, there we go. I have to escape this nightmare. I have to get us all out of this madness, whatever the cost. All right. And how, Mr. Farber, are we going to accomplish this? <clears throat> I really don't like this place. Well. Let's see what happens. Oh! Okay. Why? <laughs> Why did I do that? Coltar, help me out. Look, the thing says Coltar speaks. Come on, man. Give me something. I really don't want to interact with this camera. I'm going to regret this. Yes, I do regret it. Okay. Almost like he's trapped in one of his exhibits. Okay. Uh. 
Okay, is... Okay, um... But now, is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> Oh, that reset it. I guess checking the um, placement resets it. And okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to pull this one. Okay. Now, this is going to reset it, but I want to check to see the other cadavers. That was not in any way helpful. <laughs> How many times does this man have to hang himself? Come on now. Well... I think it was, nope, this one. Let's see. Okay. And then the one in front of this camera. And then I think it is this one. I have no idea what is about to happen. <sighs> Nothing happened. Okay. So... That wasn't it. So we have the one in front of this camera. We have the one two levers out from the grandfather clock. Okay, let's remember this. And then, let's check it. That really doesn't help. <clears throat> okay, so... Hmm. It's the third one that's gonna give us trouble. Let's see now, can we see any other Isaacs behind this camera, or through this camera? Just the one. And then this. So, it's two deuces into the room, so it's going to be, all right guys, this, yes. <laughs> 
And then this. And then it's either this or this. Well, you know what? It can't be this because this would be in direct view of this camera, which means I say, and I'm betting Isaac's life on it, that it's this one. Sorry, pal. All right. We know from this thing. Okay, yeah. So this camera is seeing this Isaac, and then there's one behind it. Where is the one beyond that Isaac? Beyond the grandfather clock, Isaac? That's the one we need. And it's still two into the room. Wow, it's... I keep coming back to this one, but that's right in front of this camera. One. Here we go. One or the other. Nope. <laughs> it wasn't that one. Sorry, Isaac. You've been eaten. Again. Daniel did not make it! Oh, wow! Okay. So, we can't just throw levers. We need to, uh... Wow, okay. We need to try to save these people. Well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> that is the point of the entire game, so that, that that does make sense. Wow, okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that once more, shall we? Alright, Daniel. Going back in. Alright, now. We have... We have done most of them. What else? I'm curious to see what else, uh, what else there is. All right. Who's the last human we need to save? Of course it is! Sebastian himself. This can't be real. Mr. Husha? Oh, I don't get his hat! <laughs> I was so happy to finally have that hat. All right. Come on, Seb. What is your nightmare? Oh, well, it's just beautiful. <laughs> okay. Okay. Look at this. this, is that wonderful wallpaper from the mansion that I hated, and you all know I hated it. Oh. And there's going to be something on stage, oh my goodness. Okay, the history of my family, of everyone who stayed in the house. We get a front row seat to some horrible nonsense. Oh. It's... yeah, it's a theater, all right. All right. One ticket for, uh, pure psychosis, please. All right. Mm. 
You know, Sebastian, <laughs> I don't even know what to do here, buddy. Pasha, right. Oh. Masha had not found the way out. Trapped and alone in her room, the darkness loomed over her. Where did she seek refuge? That's a lot of squishy. Okay, alcohol, the Bible, or suicide. Okay. I don't remember seeing alcohol. I remember seeing pills. She kept saying she didn't want to leave the house. But I don't I don't know if she actually killed herself, so I'm gonna say she tried the Bible. Wow. Prayer could stop the shadows. Husha wrote, Julia found the impossible door again, but this time it was ajar. What did she do? We are not going back to Julia's room. Okay. Walk into, call mom, walk away. Well, we know she went into it. Oh, wait, no. She called somebody. Did she call her brother? Or did she call her mom? You know what? I'm saying the kid went into it. Sebastian is the other creative one, the author, the writer Julia here. Entered, wanting to leave it open. This is interesting. Great was her horror when she discovered that once on the other side, the door had disappeared. Whoa. Usher wrote, Catherine and Saul were locked in the bedroom when suddenly the door began to open. Then Catherine took... Uh, Catherine and Saul were in the bedroom and Catherine did a thing. Okay, she took... Baseball bat? Scissors or Saul. Well, I don't remember seeing scissors anywhere in the house or any references to scissors. There definitely wasn't a baseball bat. Okay. What did she take? She took Saul and tried to protect him. That would be a mother's first instinct. Wow. Okay, uh, Daniel didn't narrate that one. Oh! What did they do? Escape or hug each other? Well, we know they didn't escape. They were still there throughout the entirety of our playthrough in the mansion, so we know they didn't get out. Surely, surely we got that one. Sebastian! Okay. If I could just do the same with the rest. Okay, so. Husher is reliving his nightmare in that wonderful room with the wallpaper. Um, we're going to have to take Argus back to um, Ariadne's crib, which I, re I really would prefer not to do. And then we'll figure out Berenice and Isaac. All right. There are just monsters. No! 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 That is so screwed up.
Okay. Next up. Berenice. A solar eclipse towering over a great expanse. Have you seen anything like that in your dreams? Oh yeah, this is the only person that hasn't drawn anything squishy on the wall, so. Yeah. Gotta be that one. Sorry, miss. Oh, okay. All right. We're doing it. You're here. It's time to face. The Grand High Squishy himself. There. The being older than time. The box. I need to leave the box. And get out of here. An entity of pure cosmic darkness before light existed in reality. And I call him the Grand High Squishy. You never. That's right. Come on, Daniel. My goodness okay the mirror exploded we're getting out of here all right okay cool ariadne ariadne i think i i may have done a thing i don't know if that was the only expression of the melody in this universe there might be other conduits uh that he can use but uh i may have gotten rid of the presence i i may have also just really pissed it off ari Your, your house is still horrible, but maybe we can, we can escape. Right. Unless, of course, this thing is already in Ariadne's mind, and it doesn't need the music box specifically. It, it can use her as an anchor for uh, for our universe. Uh. Harry! Everything will be okay, Mrs. Legrand. Ah, and that song will never play in this world again. She's gonna start humming it. I... I must have fallen asleep. What time is it? It couldn't be that easy. It's getting late. Do you mind if I turn on the light? No. He doesn't like the light. No. But it likes... the sound. <laughs> 
Oh. He made two music boxes! Oh my god! That's the end of the game! Hey! Is that you? That's Sophie. a voice! Sophie! Uh. Sophie! Help me! Please! Help somebody! Help me, please! Help! Let no. me help! Help! He's become one of the lost souls of the presence! All of those scratching horrible creatures were a victim of his! Oh my god! Whoa! Oh! 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 <laughs> oh, that was horrible! Oh my goodness gracious! Wow! That was, that was brilliant. That was absolutely fantastic. This game is incredible. Everybody, thank you. Thank you for coming with me. Thank you for allowing me to create this channel and for supporting me through all of this. This was sensational. I'm absorbing what the hell just happened. And it's, 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 it's wild. It's absolutely wild. We knew, we knew that there was no way to hold back the darkness. We knew going into this that they probably were not going to be able to, to get out. Now, there are some things in this game that I did not unlock. There are some pieces left to uncover. HP Lovecraft difficulty has been unlocked. <laughs> Maybe I'll take a look at that at some point. Uh, for now, I think I'm going to close the book on this wonderful game. Uh, if you very much would like to see uh, other pieces unlocked, uh, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I think we're going to see where this channel brings us. We're going to see what else is out there and what other horrors we can face together. Thank you, thank you so much for being with me on this journey. This is just the first game in the entire channel. We have a lot left to do, my friends. So thank you again. Wrap your claws around the like button. Click on the fiery doctor himself to subscribe and help me keep this going. And I'll see you where the melody continues. <laughs>